Let's see, I'm going to get mixed up here. Emily Tato. Um, great opening. Great use of space. I really felt Bryant's. I love the spread eagles and glides with arm movements. Um, the, I wasn't really in love with the ending. I really liked the slow start and I really liked the build. It got a little bit too manic for me. Um, but that's just my own personal opinion. You don't have to listen to me. Who am I anyway, right? Um, I liked the long holds in the Ina Bauer and the slides. There was really good connecting steps. Good feeling, interesting movements. I gave you a 3.5. Robert. Yeah, you used Rory. Hi, Rory. Rory, you look fabulous. Um, I said good use of interesting tricks and movements. I really like that. It was a bit, I have to admit, it was really hard to judge this piece because it was Rory doing a similar thing to that what she did before. So I, I kept in my mind going back to the what she had done before. And so it was a bit difficult, but I enjoyed it. And I, I loved watching Rory skate, and I thought there were great mo moments within it and great movements. Um, and it's totally different. And it was a really good idea to go to Salt Lake and to work with Rory. Um, it just... I don't know, I just kept thinking of the original, and it was difficult. And, but I did really, really enjoy it. But I gave you a 3.5. Okay, and Heather. Heather, you somehow weren't in the first rotation when I was watching, so then I had to go look for you somewhere else on the video. But anyway, I found you, because I knew you did it. I knew you were doing this. Awesome. Beautiful edges, edges and movements. Not as much feeling within the movements as I would have liked to see, but really good use of space. You were extremely sexy. For not skating very much, you look absolutely incredible. Your edges are beautiful. Um, the choreography went really nicely to the music. I, I love that song, so great choice of music. Um, and nice placement of tricks within the edges. I really thought your edges were so great, and then you'd have a trick and edges, and I felt something when I watched it. Um, I just felt like I wanted to feel more. So I'm just, I was just like yearning for more. But it was really good. I gave you a four. So that is, uh, I think I just got all of you guys. I think I did it. Okay, so. Um, sorry if I'm boring you, but I want to make sure. Okay, yes. Good job to all of you. Uh, wow. It was so incredible to watch, and I'm honored to be a judge for this, although it is not easy to be a judge, and it's especially not easy to do it on a video. So. The house is all clean because I was stressed out about it. Um, I wanted to say one more thing. One of the reasons I wanted to work with Brian, he'd, he'd worked with my friend Scott Williams, and he worked with Michael Weiss and Rory Flack, and so I was always intrigued by his choreography. I really, I loved everything he did. Like, I really loved it. More than I've ever loved choreography, ever, 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 ever. And then I saw him choreograph. He choreographed a, a piece called Primitive for Jerry Campbell. And I saw it's in the rotation of videos on the website. So if you haven't seen that yet, I really, really recommend that you watch that Primitive because I watched it again today, and I was completely mesmerized, just like I was the first time that I saw it. And I knew Jerry from when she was competing. We grew up together once we started to be on the international team. And she's, 
she was a great competitor, and she had nice arms and nice flow. But when I saw her skate this primitive, I just could not believe the difference. It was like a completely different person. I was absolutely mesmerized from the beginning to the end. And then I was so upset that it was over, and I just wanted to watch it again and again and again. So I really want to make sure that all of you watch Primitive by Jerry Campbell. And then you can let me know what you think if you haven't seen it yet, because it's really amazing. And there's a whole story behind it that Brian told Jerry, which I can't remember right now. But it's just, um, it's just every single, every single uh, crossover and every single movement with the hands, it means something. And it's just from the beginning to the end, it's incredible. So thank you very much. And good luck for the rest of the competition, and see you later.